Hello and welcome to our coverage of the WNBA on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the Indiana Fever going up against the Seattle Storm. From gorgeous Seattle, Washington, I'm Blake Suniga. Rounding out the broadcast team are Tim Swartz and Brian Benefiteni. We're glad to have you with us. Well, this game could turn out to be a fast-paced and frantic battle, considering how both of these teams like to get out and attack in transition. We'll see high-pressure defense and quick offense. Teams not really spending too much time getting into their sets. It's a great way uh, to get ahead of the slower-paced team, but with both teams running at top speed, this could get interesting. Well, the real test is going to be the stamina of these two squads. I think they're really bound to get worn out if they spend all game trying to outrun each other. Bird, no good. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, letting her get that wide open. If Mitchell gets to the rim, she's usually going to convert. She's such a skilled finisher. Outside, Stewart. Charles. To the left wing. Stolen. Now here's Henderson. Defended by Ball Queen. Mitchell outside. Smith. Back to Mitchell. For three. And the three ball is good. Well, you pay so much attention to Smith. You can see why that's a huge plus for this team. It can open up things for others. Outside, Stewart. Pass to Bird. There's the triple. The fever pull it in. Well, she wanted to return the favor there for that last three, but it just wasn't in the cards. Here's Cannon. Guarded by Charles. And here's Henderson. Inside, Mitchell, good, and the assist goes to Melissa Smith. Superb work inside for Mitchell. She's so good at finding space to shoot from the interior. And first quarter of action, two minutes in. Bird outside. Now here's Ball Queen. Defense is right there. The offensive rebound. And the shot goes in. Well, she's top 10 all time in O-boards. Charles has been doing it for years, turning misses into makes. Pass to Smith. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Here's Cannon. First shot, first basket. She is out of the blocks fast. They're off and running. They've knocked down four of their first five. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And out of bounds, the Fever will take it. Entering the league is the top pick all the way back in 2002. Sue Bird is still going. Competing against players who were in diapers when Sue started her WNBA career. Pass to Smith. And here in the first, three minutes in. Mitchell, Duchess defending. Shot clock at six. Henderson, shot is off. And talking about the greatness of Sue Bird, she's played some of her best basketball over the last few years. The timeless wonder. I mean, back in 2020, Sue shot 47% from downtown, her best from downtown. It's just incredible that Sue Bird is still going strong in her 40s. The Fever leading. Smith outside. Pass to Henderson. Mitchell right side. Off target from three-point range. Now here's Ball Queen, covered by Henderson. Here's Ball Queen. It's hauled in by Smith. It's very dangerous to leave her open like that. Lucky break for the D that she missed it. Now here's Henderson. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Good on the triple. 
Cardinals. Yeah, they've got themselves in front right now with some outstanding shooting right off the bat. You like to see that aggression early on. It's been a, just an absolute clinic at that end of the floor. They're filling it up. Now here's Duchess. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Stewart connects on the nine-footer. He makes it just look so easy. Stewart has as smooth of a stroke as you'll ever see. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. And she uses the glass on the layup. So that's one way she can finish, but far from the only way. She's got all types of tricks up her sleeve. Pass to Charles. Charles, the screen. Bird outside. The three-pointer is on target. You know, that's what separates Bird from other point guards. She has the long-range shot to go with the handles. Difficult to defend. Smith outside. Here's Henderson. Pass to Mitchell. Shot clock at five. Over Charles. Kept alive. Mitchell shots good. For a guard, Tiffany Mitchell does a great job on the glass. And she understands that second chance points are huge. Here's Charles. Charles the screen. Bird with it. To the inside. Pass to Duchess. The pick by Ball Queen. There's the lock to the hoop. And you can count it. She'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. You really can't run that play any better. Bird with the timing and the perfect placement of the pass. She is consistent in her work at putting her teammates in a position to succeed. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. The 2020 season was just so different. The entire season was played in Bradenton, Florida, and I think that makes Seattle's championship in the Wubble that much more impressive. Now here's Hole. Off target with the three. Here's Talbot. Pass to Ball Queen. Here's Lloyd. Let's it go from deep. And it's out of bounds to the Storm as Seattle retains possession. Substitution for the Storm. January. Now Talbot. Five on the clock. Puts up a three. The shot misses. Now Indiana takes it the other way. And that 2020 championship by the Storm, arguably the most challenging title in WNBA history. Well, you tip your hat to, to Bird, Stewart, Lloyd, the rest of that 2020 Storm team. The physical and mental challenges they overcome, we've never seen it. We may never see it again. Here's Talbot. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. January. Second shot opportunity. Egbo pulls it in. And she doesn't miss many of those, uh, especially with the defender not in the best of positions. Outside Vivians. Here's Egbo. Here's Hole. Soft touch off the glass. Well, we've seen Lexi Hole has some range, but she can also slash, bring it inside. The storm trail. Outside Lloyd. Pass to Talbot. Now January. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Magnador. Right side, Stewart. Here's Talbot. Takes the three. It's good from long range. 
Passing is what makes Stewart perhaps the best offensive player in the world. Not just to score, an all-around force. Now here's Hole. Outside Robinson. Pass to Egbo. Ooh, no luck on that one. And the Storm going the other way now. Now January. Outside Lloyd. And the Storm, another three. Decisive. It's a quality for any good shooter. Lloyd has it. Just get the ball, fire away. Pass to hole. Robinson. Now here's Smith. Here's Vivians. Yes, and it's Melissa Smith picking up the assist. Those two, they just keep going right at each other from deep. A little one-on-one -on -one action we've got on our hands here, Tim. I'm not complaining. Here's Talbot. Pass to Lloyd. Here's Talbot. Beyond the arc. To the wing on the left. There's Breon January with the three. And the rebound goes to the Fever. Shot clock and game clock, one second differential. Outside, Robinson. Fades away. That shot, no good. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. The Fever on top, up three. And we'll be back with you shortly. getting underway no team gaining an edge so far and what stands out to you from the fever in this one i like what we're seeing for them going right at the basket tons of points down there in the paint they've been the aggressor early attacking the hoop and getting in the paint the fever leading Pass to Egbo. Now here's Henderson. Covered by Lloyd. The three from Kelsey Mitchell. Gets it to go from downtown. Everyone knows that Kelsey Mitchell can score. So the question is, defensively, how do you slow her down? Well, tonight, they've really had no answers. Now here is Lloyd. Over to the wing. Outside, Williams. Four on the clock. From down in the low post, it goes. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Here's Egbo. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Mitchell outside. Pass to Davis. From deep. The shot will not fall. Now Seattle takes it the other way. One of my favorite things about the WNBA, players with so many different backgrounds. Take Ezzy McBecourt. She was born in New Zealand to Nigerian parents. Now here is Lloyd. Three-pointer. Misses that one. She's made one and missed two shots this game. Pass to Henderson. And now Egbo. Henderson. Mitchell, right side. Egbo, guarded by Charles. They get it again. Here's Cannon. And they're going to count the bucket and send her to the line. It could be a three-point play. The Storm making a switch here.
and the Magbagor family moved to Australia when Ezzy was just six years old. Ending up in the Melbourne area, really the basketball hotbed of Australia, Ezzy started playing professionally as a teenager and played her first WNBA game before turning 21. Now here's Henderson. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. And there's a whistle. That goes on ball two. That is her first foul of the game. Indiana, Tiffany Mitchell. Here's Mitchell. Good on the three-point shot. And when Mitchell's threes are falling, she's nearly unguardable. There's just so much you have to account for. Pass to Duchess. Charles with it. Ball queen. Back to Charles. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Only one player in the history of the WNBA has made more two-point buckets than Tina Charles. Making hoops inside is her bread and butter. Now here's Henderson. The three from Kelsey Mitchell. And another Kelsey three Mitchell. for Indiana. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to deal with their passing. Here's Duchess. That's some good D by Kelsey Mitchell. Here's the fever with the ball. Their defense has allowed only four points in the quarter. Pass to Henderson. Mitchell. Henderson. She's guarded by Williams. Mitchell, right side. Four on the shot clock. No good with the triple. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The D got lucky. They're not rotating quickly enough on defense down low. They've got to provide more resistance inside. Now here's Henderson. Defended by Ball Queen. The three. Mitchell shots good. Well, I think she, she owes the three-pointer dinner because it's been her best friend today, no question. Well, it has been today anyway. I mean, look, most of her points have been courtesy of the deep timeout ball. Score. Seattle calls timeout. And for the teams that haven't quite met expectations, is this the point of the season where you start thinking about making trades or do you wait a little bit longer? I mean, I've always believed that if you have the ability to improve your team, then you absolutely should even if that means shaking up the locker room a little. Yeah, I know a lot of coaches that would prefer to work through it with the players they have, but the front offices are typically a little more antsy to make a move. Charles. Six points for her. Outside Williams. The shot, no good. Now Indiana takes it the other way. And here's Cannon. She's got five. Pass to Davis. Mitchell with it. Duchess defending. Back to Mitchell. Six to shoot. They get a hand on it. Duchess with the steal. Here's 
Towards Magbagor. Count the basket. Outstanding entry pass. He knew exactly where to go with that ball. And here's Indiana. Now here's Henderson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Mitchell outside. Three-pointer. No luck on that one. So the Storm will take it the other way. Pass to Ball Queen. Charles. Duchess, no good. Mitchell with it. He's got 19. And here's Henderson, defended by Ball Queen. Now Henderson. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Pass to Henderson. And here's Kelsey Mitchell for three. Off the mark for the fourth time this game. She is now seven for 11. Now here's Ball Queen. She's covered closely. Off with the layup. Mitchell outside. Now here's Henderson. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Shot from free throw range. Another miss by Kelsey Mitchell. Now here's Ball Queen. She's covered by Mitchell. Outside, Williams. Duchess sets a screen. Puts it up from 12. No good there. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Mitchell left side. To the paint, Davis. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Tremendous vision from Mitchell to spot the wide open teammate. That kind of unselfishness is contagious. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. A not satisfied with the lead that they have, took it to the rack. Not to be denied. Seattle calls timeout. Yeah, the coaches seeing a lot of their shots miss the mark and figured it'd be a good time to draw something up, maybe get an easy look. Yeah, all my coaches always had one go-to play that you keep in your back pocket, and that's probably the one that the coach is drawing up here, trying to get their team an easy bucket out of this break. Talbot, Cole defending. Charles up top, Bird outside. Outside Charles. Just five to shoot. Stewart. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Outside Vivians. Pass to Robinson. Here's Hole. Let's go with a three. The rebound by Charles. And here's January. Stewart, covered by Smith. Now here's Bird. From 
downtown. Can't hit that one. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Outside Robinson. Pass the hole. Egbo. Now Smith. Guarded by Bird. The jump hook. That one goes in. Nice move by Melissa Smith inside, getting herself the high percentage look. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Bird gets the bucket. She was one step ahead of the D in making that pass. Nice assist. Pass the hole. Now here is Vivians, guarded by Bird. Outside Robinson. Down low. Egbo gets the bucket. And it's pretty hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the stats monitor, there's a stark discrepancy. And when you look at the assist column, and you see that difference as far as fluidity in their respective offenses, too. Even with every shot clanging off the iron, she seems determined to continue hoisting up these threes. But I think it's time to maybe take a step in. Now here's Vivians. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. And it's out of bounds to the Fever as Indiana retains possession. Left side, Robinson. To the middle. Clock at four. Here's Egbo. Off target with the fadeaway. Six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Talbot. Covered by Vivians. Here's Talbot. From deep three point range. It's hauled in by Smith. Back to Robinson. Juice over January. And so we wrap up the first half. The Fever on top. They lead by 14. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Welcome back as we begin the second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. It's been an absolute clinic out there by Kelsey Mitchell. And those threes have been dropping for her. Absolute dead-eye shooting in that first half. Yeah, I'll say. I mean, this could not have been a more productive day for her for long range. Getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far, but we'll see if that changes. Smith outside. Back to Mitchell. Out to the wing. There's the three. Off target. Her six miss and 13 attempts from the four. Pass to Charles. Down low. Stewart. The shot's good on the assist by Tina Charles. It's one of the reasons Charles is a perennial all-star. She has incredible court vision, finding the open player for the hoop. And no lack of aggression on that move. And that's good enough for the 2K drive. No letting up, doing everything in their power to try to close the gap. Now here's Ball Queen. She's tightly guarded. Yo, 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 watch this, watch this. Back to Bird. Over Mitchell. That one off the back iron and out. 
Well, a second round pick in 2022, Destiny Anderson finished her college career as a national champion. And not only that, she was running the point and she was leading her team. Now here is Charles. Six points for her. Ball clean. Back to Charles. And the layup's good off the glass. And after winning the college title, Henderson saw orders on her clothing line explode. So it's something Destiny started in college. She wanted to be ready for life after basketball. So Henderson followed her passion, launching her own clothing line. Stewart with the bucket. Another good pass. Impressive offensive execution from there. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance. Four straight field goals made off an assist. Now here's Henderson. Looking for a first basket still in this one. Ball's knocked loose. And stolen by Balkoon. Outside Stewart. Charles out to the left wing. Here's Ball Queen. From outside, off the mark. Mitchell outside. Pass to Henderson. Shot to end the cold run. Tipped away. Three straight misses here to start the second half. Is that good? Now here's Ball Queen. Duchess with it. She's covered by Mitchell. Bird outside. Clock at six. Screen by Charles. Off target from outside. Battling hard on the glass, and they hold the advantage there. Yeah, they're fighting for every loose carom and giving it as good as they get inside. Now here's Mitchell. 19 points in the game. They set the pick. Yes, indeed, it is good. That's her eighth make against 14 attempts. She can shoot, she can pass, she can ball handle. In the pick and roll game, Mitchell is hard to stop because she's a threat to do anything. What an alley-oop. Those two lead each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they just love to run. And they've probably done it in practice a thousand times. And as the receiver, she doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish. Laying it in for the two points works just fine. Because, Tim, you've said this before. Two points is two points. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. 11 feet out. Mitchell grabs the board. Pass to Henderson. To the inside. Here's Smith. And she banks in the layup. What muscle from Smith. Able to push away the defense and still score. Ball queen with the ball. Here's Charles. Out to the wing. Now here's ball queen. Covered by Henderson. Pass to Smith. Henderson. Mitchell right side. Shoots over Duchess. A shot by Mitchell. No good. Bird outside. And here's Charles. She's covered by Mitchell. The jump hook. Goes back up. And the layup good by Charles. If you were looking only at the way she's played offensively, you'd think her team was ahead. Now a timeout called by Indiana. Well, they want to tinker with the game plan a little bit, and now's the time to do it. Yeah, there was clearly some things going on out there that the coaching staff just wasn't a fan of.
A big group substitution here for Indiana. Indiana with the ball. They've led by as many as 14 points. First personal foul, teams first. First team foul. Davis, she's guarded by Williams. Outside Robinson. Pass to Smith. Six on the shot clock. And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, official saw the contact. And she'll shoot two. Smart move by Smith against close defense. She stays with the shot instead of backing off. She's getting her first free throw attempts of the night. Well, she struggled mightily at the free throw line in their last game. Let's just say it was Take not her best break. performance at the charity stripe. She would love to put that behind her with some strong free throw shooting today. That free throw, no good. A walking double-double. Six Gordon, Alyssa Smith is an impact player, has a major effect on games. The Storm making a switch here. And she sinks the second. Now January. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Back to Lloyd. From past the arc, gets a three-pointer to fall. Well, Lloyd loves to punish teams from downtown. She'll take that shot whenever she can. Outside Vivians. Egbo, pass to Davis. And here is Robinson. Tries a three. Drops in the tray. Right oh, some quick uh, retaliation right there, huh, guys? Yeah, sure didn't take him long to go and get those three points back. Outside, Williams. Stewart. Good, and it's Gabby Williams who picks up the assist. <laughs> they continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. Now here's Robinson. It's hauled in by Williams. Rebounded by the Fever. And here is Robinson. Outside Vivians. Pass to Davis. Six to shoot. Outside Robinson. Shoots over January. Robinson, no good. January outside. Talbot, good work there as it goes. With an increasing knowledge of the game, January is able to read defenses effectively. Pass to Smith. Talbot pulls it in. Seattle trailing here. Two minutes remaining with them. Two minutes. Now here is Lloyd. Goes up on the wing. It's not going to go for her. Here's the fever with the ball. After the 2021 season, which was Jewel Lloyd's seventh year in the league, Lloyd was named first team all WNBA for the first time in her career. And here in the storm now. Eight point game. Pass to Stewart. Fires from deep. The shot's good on the assist by Jewel Lloyd. 
And for Lloyd, that first team selection was a long time coming. Well, Jewel has been a great player in this league for a very long time. A key part of title teams in Seattle. So it was great to see her get that uh, first team nod the respect she deserves. And there's the whistle. That goes on January. That's her first foul. Third team foul. Substitution on the court. Side Robinson. Pass to hole. Trying to get back on track. Cans it from downtown. Well, can't let Hall get wiggle room for these corner spots because she can sink them. And they can trade two for one here. Would be the right move here. Back to Lloyd. Now Stewart. Russell with the screen. Stewart inside. Guarded by Davis. A nice shot by Stewart. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. I mean, there's more holes in their defense than in a block of Swiss cheese. Man, you just made me hungry, but, but that's right. Five of their last six makes were in tight. They've established themselves inside. Where's the cheese? Now here's Robinson. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. The bucket is good. The upper body strength of Robinson on display. The power to finish through contact. And this is her first trip to the line tonight. Line the lanes. Line the lanes. One shot. In this league, so many years, the experience Robinson brings to her team is invaluable. Sets a strong example for younger players to follow. The third quarter comes to a close. The Fever on top, up nine. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter here on 2K Sports. Now this was some artistry right here. Great decision on where to go with the ball and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession end this way, Tim. It's true team basketball. It's just so much fun to watch. Hello, and thanks for joining us again. The fourth quarter of play should begin in moments. Outside Charles. Now here's Duchess. D right on her. Can't connect from short range. The Fever with the lead. Outside Vivians. Clock at six. Lays it up and banks it in. What a plus it is to get those looks in the paint. Seattle with the ball. Pass to Charles. Duchess. Charles the screen. Here's Duchess. Lloyd with it. Here's Stewart. She's covered by Mitchell. Stewart inside. That falls. Nice feed that time from the Jewel Lloyd. Oh, man. There's really been a change in her game compared to what we saw in the first half because she's just scoring with a lot of confidence now. Now here's Hole. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Vivians. And a miss there on the triple. Seattle with the ball. They trail by nine points. Back to Charles. Now Stewart. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. We didn't see much from her the first half, but she's making up for lost time. 
Victoria Vivians on the wing, covered by Lloyd. Shot by Mitchell, no good. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage she put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second half. Stewart, it drops. That's her ninth field goal of the contest. A blistering hot nine for 11. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Here's the pick. Takes it from 10. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Pass to Ball Queen. And they get in the way. It looked like they were going for the alley-oop. Not to be. Outside Vivians. Here's Hole. Inside. Here's Cannon. They get it back. And that's good. A nice job on the glass, and they pick up the two on the second effort. Strong rebounding, and she gets the easy putback as a result. Now here's Ball Queen. Now a timeout called by Seattle. Start it. Fever making a change here. All right, fans, that was your new fit squad. Make some noise. Fever on D. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Left side, Charles. Bird outside. Just five on the clock. Knocks down the three ball. Something's brewing, guys, and it's not just the pot of coffee I put on. Their three pointers just keep on dropping. Oh, and that coffee you put on has been great. And so thank you for that, Tim. Look, they've just had a great second half from long range. Things are definitely starting to look up for them. You want cream and sugar? Oh, I usually just drink it black, but thank you, Tim. Now here is Charles. Pass to Bird. Here's the three. And the storm. Another three. And this is just who Sue Bird is. She wants that revenge triple whenever you drain one on her squad. And here's Henderson. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. To the paint. Duchess with the steal. Ball clean, covered by Henderson. Pass to Duchess. The pick by Ball clean. Outside Charles. It's good as five others before it were. He's now shooting six for seven. They've found the touch here in the second from the field. Now here's Smith. Henderson. Mitchell left side. Stolen by Sue Bird. Pass to Ball Queen. To tie it up. And she takes it up and lays it in. And that ties it up. 
all the scoring in tight is coming at that end of the court. They've got holes in the D, and they're really exploiting that. Inside. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. Such a composed finisher. Whether it's inside or outside, Henderson makes the most of her chances. Now here is Stewart. Pass to Charles. Ball clean. Just four to shoot. To take the lead. And Tina Charles is going to pick up the foul. That's her first foul. Now here's Henderson. Pass to Cannon. Mitchell. Henderson with it. outside and it's off from three-point range you can tell she thought that triple was gonna fall she's just shaking her head after that miss Stewart with the ball to the inside Mitchell outside that's in there Tiffany Mitchell with the assist all quarter, she's been zeroed in, locked in, focused, and she's knocked down big shots for her team in the fourth. Pass to Duchess. Screened by Stewart. Bird outside. Here's ball clean. Good on the bucket. The Fever leading. And here's Smith. Mitchell outside to the left side wing. Pass to Smith. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's the teardrop. And Mitchell with the lay-in. Good. Yeah, she's played an important role in her offense today. And really without her, they might not have the lead right now. Stewart with the ball. Bird. Now here's Charles. Yes, once again for her on an excellent 7 for 8 shooting night so far. Big time from Charles. Remember, she's a national champ, gold medalist. She loves these moments. She's been in these moments. Now here's Mitchell. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. The three is up. That shot off. Now Seattle takes it the other way. Pass to Bird. Now Balkan covered by Henderson. He lobs up the alley oop pass. And it's out of bounds to the storm as Seattle retains possession. Here in the storm now. Two point game. And a foul called on Alyssa Smith. That is her first foul of the game. And the defender didn't get squared up with her feet set. Yeah, those can be tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. And Sue Bird, here we go. Pass to Duchess. Here's Ball Queen. Five to shoot. Here's Duchess, and it's all evened up. And what a time to tie this game up, guys. Wow. Everybody better strap themselves in right now because this is going to be one wild finish. I can just feel it, Tim. I can feel it, too. The fans can feel it. Everybody can feel it. Now here's Mitchell. Mitchell outside from deep. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Now the defense has to be real thrilled to see her keep shooting those three. She has been brutal this half. Pass to Charles. Bird. Over to the left wing. 
to take the lead. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now here's Mitchell, guarded by Bird. And here's Henderson. Looking to end the drought. Misses the tray. Smith with it. Working on Charles. Here's Mitchell. Oh, the poise of Mitchell. This is what allows her to come up huge in the clutch. Time called here. The Storm decide to talk it over. And what's your take, guys? They actually could shoot a three here and go for the win, but I'd expect them to try to send it to overtime. The defenders don't want to foul in this situation, so they should be able to get a shot off inside. come out on top here and they break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory this is a win they should take a ton of pride in they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest so that's going to do it for this one folks 